<coughs> what is up guys? Video Game Jane Poop again, back with more Banjo-Kazooie. And in the last episode, we have tackled the tutorial for the game in Sparrow Mountain and completed Mumbo's Mountain. Um, in 10 minutes, wow. Okay, so, uh, in this video, we're gonna continue more of the game. Uh, and also, yes, I do have the stop and swap items, if some of you are wondering, because almost every Banjo-Kazooie fan will know what stop and swap is. <laughs> so, I don't think we'll- I don't think I need to do some explaining there, but still, I think you'll know what it is. Uh, and how- how you use it. So let's go here. That door was easy you got past. Unfortunately, you're first and last. When you open a window... I don't know. And why is the music loud there? I don't know why. But then in other parts... The music is fine. Like, I don't know why. Random. Hold on, let me just change the volume slightly. Um, so you can still hear some of the game audio, but you hear more of my voice. Uh, because I noticed in my last video, you can hear both at the same time, kind of. They're like the same level. So, right, we have a cauldron here. You've activated a much cauldron! Find two the same color to create a shortcut. Yeah, we can do that. And we've opened Treasure Trove Cove there, and there's another map we, we can go there, but obviously we need a move to get there, so... But first, before we go to Treasure Trove Cove, let's uh, just uh, go here and... Uh, we've got a gold feather there. Look at you, I'm an inverter of feather. Buttons will tell you more. They yeah, will. You've activated a magic cauldron. Find two the same color to create a shortcut. Yeah, I know. Right. And then there's another note door there, but we cannot open it. You found it, some notes. But you need more to break my spell and pass this door. Right, there's Treasure Trove Cove. Why is the music loud in the Xbox version? I have no idea why. I'll just turn down the music more. About... Yeah, there we go. Alright. Ahoy there! This be Treasure Trove Cove! There'd be two new moves for you to find. Oh, and then we have a shark, Snacker. Mm, lovely! You gotta be careful though. I'm trying to get this Jinjo. Like, usually I get it on first try, but. Alright, there we go. Yippee! Snacker gets dessert too. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, there's food references there as well. Uh, but yeah, Treasure Trove Cove. It's basically a beach. Uh, and was originally going to be called Hammerhead Beach instead of Treasure Trove Cove. Uh, so, get those notes. There we go. Go under there. There we go. And then we can get more notes here. Alright, and then, right here, we can get some gold. Oh, hi there! I've been Blubber's treasure! Okay. So we've got to give them to Captain Blubber, uh, who is on this boat. So we'll do that first, because we don't want to hear him cry a lot. Right. Whee! I'm a Red Feather! Yeah, so Red Feathers... Make it uh, that'd be half of me gold! Alright, but we need to get one more, which we get down here. Oh, I wanted to do that glitch. And there's more Mumbo tokens to get. Now, Mumbo's hut is not in every world. Uh, so, not in every stage or every level. But, you still collect tokens. It's still recommended to get a lot of tokens. Uh, you know, for later. Later part. Me treasure! Thank you, my hearties! Take this reward! I'm off to spend... 
Oh, I wish I got the jiggy during the cutscene. So then the animation would play during uh, that short cutscene there. I think Blubber pushed me slightly. Uh, what's up here? Well, it's just a Jinjo. Yeah, there's bottles there. This will be your big chance, chicken legs. It's time for you to fly. At last, it better be easy. Don't worry. Really. What? I don't know what it said there. But... But yeah, fl disc? Flying disc? What? Yeah, my energy's low. Yeah. I know that. But we can fly now! To fly higher, you need some red feathers. Right. We just get a uh, jiggy in this treasure chest there. go down to get this other um, mumbo skull. That golden treasure was for me! How hard a still the game would be? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, Gratilda always, like, rhymes as well a lot. I don't know. Right, that one has red feathers. I believe this one has notes. Yeah, it does. Right, come on, get out! gonna get that turn. Ah! Cheese and crackers! Just wait there! Oh, come on, cheese and crackers. Oh, I love crackers, but I don't like cheese. Coffee and mint! I'll be right over. No, um, how does, how does Banjo taste like coffee? Uh, well, he's a honey bear for one thing, so he likes honey. It's got nothing to do with coffee. I guess, I guess you could make, um, honey coffee, but I don't know. Go. We ground pound these to get something. Follow the clues if you're looking for gold. Okay. Alright. I'm just gonna get those notes there. Oh, come on. Get okay, me right there. We go. Right. No, oh, no. I wanna try and do it from the stairs. Okay, hold on. Oh, right. I wanted to do it from the stairs so I don't have to do this. But it don't matter now. Right, we got seven lumber tokens. Alright. Here. And yeah, there's a cool glitch you could do called a quick dive. So if you cancel your talent drop while you go in the water, uh, then you'll go in the water further quicker. So it, that is kind of cool. That's kind of cool. And there's an orange ginger right there. There are more stuff there. But first, there's a Jiggy around here. In fact, that, no, I'll get that Jiggy later. There's another extra life there as well, if we need it. I'm getting it. And a cool trick you can do, if you don't want to take full damage, just ground pound on the side and then... And then bam. Alright. Alright, we'll just kill it and there we go. Now, if you ground pound these, they'll give you two honeycomb pieces. And what is going on with the camera? Alright. There's another mo mumbo token down here, so we got. D don't face that way, Banjo! Don't face that way, there we go. We'll just collect one of the feathers. So then I can, um. ground pound this one. Then. Then I want to collect these notes, so we'll just... There's more notes. And there's more notes on that tree there, so we're gonna... And I talent trot a lot in this game because it's faster. Because it's fast progressing, so... Because it's faster that way, so... That is why I do that. Okay. Down there. Alright, so I'm gonna get those real quick. No! Oh my god, are you serious? That note, that note, that note. And you can get up here like that. Uh, just not a lot of people seem to do that, I guess. And then that shark food island thing over there is open as well, so. Right, then our last thing is there. First we'll get this. So we could, oh, we got it! Yes. So we're gonna go here. That's that X right here. 
kill him as well. Yes! Ah, you'll never find me now! And you're like a treasure chest. Nope, you're down there! <laughs> so you're lying. I can't find you. Oh wait, but before that though, I want to actually get this Jinjo here now. This is Kazooie's Shock Jump Disc. Find me and I'll tell you how to use it. Yeah, we find that disc here as well. We're, just, we're gonna go to. The, I'm gonna go to that molehill in a moment though. Yeah, this one's easy. Just, just either do that, or you can shoot eggs, or you can ground pound on it. That is how you get that jiggy. It's very simple. Uh, in fact, before we do that uh, shock jump thing, let's actually go on top of the mount uh, of this mountain. So I'm gonna go all the way on top and get this Jiggy on top here as well. Can we skip the Jiggy animation? Oh, we didn't, but but we got up here though. So then we can get, so we can descend to the Jiggies. We don't need to use that shock jump as well. You can go down here, and you would usually break a door to get here, but the door's already broken now when we get out. And there's a Grunty switch here as well. And then uh, a Jiggy comes out of the cannon in Gruntilda's lair, so we can go there. And there's some notes here as well. There's, there's a Jinjo here as well. Uh, it's right there. I'll get that in a moment. It's the, right, there's no more notes around here. So... Right, there we go. You've been awarded a game pick! Look at you! Now, the gamer pick is only for your Xbox 360 profile. It's not for your Xbox One profile, unfortunately, so... Right, so we got that note there. There's only one note there, so you've got to... You've got to remember that. I don't know if there were more notes here. Right, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna... No, I don't think there were more notes here. I think they were the only ones. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I will uh, jump down somewhere. Um... Oh no! Oh, thank God. That was close. <laughs> that was so close. I don't think there are more notes up there. I don't think there is. I thought. I always think there is, but I don't think so. You've reached new heights of my shock jump spring. Does Kazooie do it? My legs are tired. Don't worry, the turkey does all the work. Alright. Nice going, you. Learn all the cove's new moves. Right, uh, let's do this thing here. We have a bucket. Leak it, leaky the bucket. Just poop twice in him. There you go. Leaky patch stop. Now it's empty in water. And now we can enter the sand castle right here. I'm gonna get these notes on top of that as well. But I'm not gonna do the sand castle yet, though. I'll do that in a moment. Uh, I'll do all these first, though. Okay. Because uh, not only there's some notes here, but there's also a jiggy. That's how you use these shock jump pads. Oh, no. Right, here we go. Right, there's a jiggy there. Alright, here we go. There we go, we got a jiggy there. Right, seven jiggies. So there's uh, three more. And I know where these three are, so. Can I get these notes? Uh, notes, I mean feathers. Alright. And, and I know where the other honeycomb piece is as well. Uh, what I need to fly to one of them, so I'll just fly here. I, I need to fly to one of the jiggies, uh, and it's right around here. <laughs> you can see the inside of Banjo. It's just um, I don't know. All right, it's right here. Can we skip the animation here? Yes, we did. There we go. Oh, there's Snacker again. But he's not talking this time. I'm gonna take damage, aren't I? Oh, no, I'm not! No, I'm not! Ugh. And then the last honeycomb piece is there. Well, for this world, at least. 
And then in the next world, we'll get two more there, and then... Oh, I got bitten! <clears throat> Lovely! Right, and then we have hermit... We're massive hermit crap here. I'll call Nipper. Hey, this is Nipper's beach. You find nothing without Nipper's help. Help us then! Yeah, cheeky bird. Oh, yeah. Just try it. Right, so first... After he does this attack, you gotta rat attack rap on his face. So you gotta peck his face three times. And then. And then he cries like that for some reason. Because he's a little cry baby. First, I think there's a mumbo token behind here. Yeah, there is. And that was weird how I just uh, stayed in the same corner when I wasn't even going past it, but I was still running. Alright, these are the last few notes. So if it's like... Yeah, so I know where the four more of them are. Whoa! Okay! These enemies... Okay. Right, I want these enemies to kill. Not that it matters, but still. God damn it. Let's get out of here. Yeah. yeah. Don't really need... Don't really need those eggs, but still. Um... And uh, now the sand castle is where our last jiggy is, and those last notes. So I was right about the cliff. It was just those three notes. Yeah. Well, of course the lighthouse, but I mean like when you're climbing up the cliff, um, like the mountain, and it's just three notes there. Right here we go. Hey, <laughs> Look at my eyes. So yeah, you gotta write Banjo Kazooie. Uh, yeah, so we wrote Banjo and now for Kazooie. And I'll get I'll get those note I'll get those notes after. So we need to write Kazoo. What, where's a Z? There we go. Kazoo. In fact, this game was originally uh, in development. It was Dream, and then Banjo Kazoo, and then now Banjo Kazooie. So. The gate opens to reveal your prize. First, I'll cut you down to size. Nope, you won't. Because I'm going to kill. Whoa, what? Oh my god. We got all 10 jiggies and we get this animation. <laughs> and I'm inside him, wow. I'm just kill him there. You just get one honeycomb piece there, though. I'll get those notes right here. You found all notes in this world. Well done. So yeah, we got everything here. So we do need to come back to Treasure Trove Cove for like a few secrets though. So so like a few cheats and that because that's where the that's what the sand castle is also for. It's also for cheats. So whoa. Okay, we got this. Kind of grunted like enemy. It's like a Donkey Kong grunt, a grunty Kong. <laughs> it's like, all right, go, uh -huh. all right. So, beaten Treasure Trove Cove. Uh, how many minutes have we done this one? No, that's good till this layer. Numbers mountain. Fifteen minutes. Okay, in twenty-one seconds. Right. Like, I used to struggle a lot with that world, because how hard some parts were. Alright, so let's go up here. Now, the remaining worlds behind this door, I cannot go to yet, but I can open this door already. So... Alright, now remember that other jigsaw piece earlier in this video? Well, let's go here. Let's go right here. We got this painting right here. Right. To remove pieces that you have already put in, press down the red stick. Uh, so you can remove pieces, but we're not going to do that. And if you want to put them all at once, press the right trigger. And this is my preferred way of doing this to put all of them down at once. Instead of like pressing uh, just the A button. Right, we've got Clanker's Cavern. So. So we got Clanker's Cavern there. So. That's where we're gonna go next. Um, and you go up here. It's right here. 
Your stupid quest should stop. I don't think it should, Gruntilla. And then, that's where it is. But I'm going to do a few more things in this place first, before going to, um... Like, it's coming... Whoa, okay. Right. Firstly, on top of the entrance to Cap uh, Clanker's Cabin, is a Mumbo token. And then right here, a switch. Right. And then what we're going to do next is go back... Because if you did this af uh, after going into Clanker's Cabin once, uh, you will have an enemy up here, which makes it a bit harder. So I'm, I'll do it. Uh, now. Right. We can go down here. Uh, that fairy thing you saw is Brentilda. What she does is gives you a close of what Gruntilda's dirty secrets are, basically. So, I don't know if I'll use some of them, but oh, I, I don't know. I'll see anyway. Those eggs. And we can open another world. And this time we've opened Bubble Glue Swamp. Now, we'll go in this one in like another video, of course. Okay, um. Right. Now, our previous video was 30 minutes. Maybe for the Banjo series, I might make it to like 40 minutes or less. So I'll try and do Clanker's Cavern. I'll, I'll do Clanker's Cavern now, actually. So. Um, and I used to struggle a lot with this stage as well. Because there is one part where you have to be underwater to do something. And you have to be in there longer. So. Thankfully, the Xbox version does have some differences to make this easier, so... Can we get that? Oh, we did! Yes! So we got that. Uh, that... Uh, you think it's impossible there, but you have to be really careful. And then you have these uh, Gorilla Chomper enemies here. You just gotta use your Rat Attack Rap Attack just to kill them. You have a yellow Jinjo right here. Right. Yeah, because what the Xbox version does to make this easier is that if you die in a world or exit a stage, you don't have to collect the notes again. Your notes are permanently collected. In the N64 version, you have to collect them all again. Ugh, clanker, which is garbage grinder. I do not like dirty water. So I think what I'll do here is uh, to, to take advantage of this. Uh, those notes I missed in the uh, first part, uh, I can get back. Uh, I can go back. So I'll do this part here, and if I drown, if I, uh, I can try and get something else as well. To also take advantage. Um, if I die here, then I can um, go back and get those notes. So yeah, this is the part I struggled with the most on this stage. So we've got those bubbles, they can heal you. It's the only place where it has these things from this fish. Hi, I'm Gloop. Grab my bubbles if you're low on air. Now, to free Clanker, you have to do this. Alright. Then, just swim through it again. Three times. It doesn't matter which way. <laughs> we went through it. Oh my god, that's so funny. And then Clanker goes up. Clanker has fresh air. Uh, uh, got a reward on my back. Oh wait, no, I don't think we can take advantage though, because I think we'll have to do that Clanker thing again, um, like free him again. And I think it's it. You don't. You only don't do it again if you get the jiggy. So, say if I die from something else, then. Um, okay then. All right. Uh, there's another note. There's more notes around here and a ginger we can collect. So I'll get that jiggy first and maybe I'll get a few other things on the water. Alright. A bubble here. 
Right, there we go. And then go up here. And then we're gonna go up. So maybe I'll get the Jiggy from Clanker first. And then, after that, when I'll go back in the water. Well, actually, I'll try and get a few other things uh, up here first. I'll get this jiggy first, which we get by standing on this anvil right here. There we go. We go here. And then you get a jiggy right here. Right here, you get a jiggy. Our first jiggy. Whoa! Oh, 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 okay. Right, that, that is so close. And then you can actually go inside Clanker from the top there as well. And you would want to later on. Get that Jiggy. There we go. So now we don't have to sort uh, Clanker out again. Well, we don't have to rise him up, but we do have to clear his teeth, it says on the text box there. Right, so when I go back in the water, I'll... Uh, do a lot of things in the water and drown myself, so then I can get those um, notes again, so I don't have to backtrack, so I can take advantage of it. Alright, so I can go down here, and I'll get those notes. Alright, there we go. Can we get this? No, we cannot. Alright, go back in the water now. And there is a Jiggy you can get here, so... Uh, not from that green thing, but through here, you can get a Jiggy, so... I'm gonna get that. Along with a few notes in a long pipe way, so... I'm gonna go there as well. So we've got a Jiggy there. We gotta swim out. It's only slightly tricky because you see the characters breaking the full fall there, so. Uh, and you can't see what's in front of you, so. So that's the only tricky part. In fact, I won't get those notes because I won't have time. Because there's a lot in there. So I'll collect these feathers and eggs instead. Because we'll need a lot of them. This is what it's like when they drown. But luckily, luckily we don't have to get, um, oh, oh, we got it again, yes. Oh no, then we slipped, oh no. But luckily we don't have to collect, the notes we've already gotten now, we don't have to collect again anymore, so. But we still, Got to collect the notes that we haven't got though, so... But in the N64 version, it is very different. So, you have to you have to get the notes again. So it's basically like a score in the N64 version. So... So that's the only reason why the N64 version is bad, kind of. <laughs> but thankfully they fixed this on Xbox, so... That's a good thing. Clankers should be, yeah, Clankers rised up, so. In fact, I'll get those uh, notes now. And then I can go back up. Yeah, I think that was one. In fact, I could have I could have got those notes before, uh, but it was in case I um, didn't get them all on time, so. Right, then I'll go up. do the other things outside of Clankers, uh, outside of Clanker, so. Right. Go on top of Clanker first. In fact, we'll go inside Clanker now. In fact, we'll do his, in fact, I'll do his teeth first. Just three eggs and then you can go in his teeth. You go inside. One side contains a Jiggy. The other side contains a uh, Mumbo token. <coughs> oh, I got a cough there. 
Right. right, I'll go on top of him now, so then... Let me get a grunty switch. And her eyes popped out. Okay, that's interesting. They're right here, we've got to be careful here. We get a jiggy there. Right, then we go here. And we got to fly here. We got rings here. Oh no, we got to do Superman 64 here. Oh god. You know how bad that game is, guys, really. Alright. Alright, here we go. Here's the part where you get the move. This move uses Pico's wings as a shield against the bad guys. Cool, does it make me invulnerable? Sure does. Right, so... So you know how the talent trot on N64 is crouch and then uh, left C stick? Well, C button? Well, this time it's the right C button this time for this one, so... So on Xbox is the uh, right trigger. Press right trigger as well, so there you go. Oh, yeah, it's almost impossible to do this without the, uh, the Wonder Wing. So the Wonder Wing. So you gotta use the Wonder Wing to do this. So but besides that, yeah, it's really cool. Uh, I'll do those rings when I go back in Clanker, uh, but for now I'll just go out of this side. You can go out the other side as well and you'll find more notes. Alright. Now I'm gonna... Wait. Wait. And you can actually take out uh, Clanker's teeth um, early as well. Kind of cool. Oh wait, no, uh, what was I thinking? Um, take down this other two. Alright. Nope! Okay. One, two, three. Alright, there we go. So then we get a mumbo token there. And some notes around here as well. So the notes are more important. And then we go down here. Yeah, you automatically go in your swimming state if you touch a ceiling in the water, so... So it's very helpful there. Right, now we'll do the ring challenge. We're gonna do Superman 64 here. Oh boy. Oh no, okay. But thankfully, uh, unlike Superman 64, this is very easy, actually. So, I guess it's uh, Super Banjo 64? Super Kazooie 64? I don't know. Or Superman 360? I don't know. Whatever. We're we'll going one more ring there. Alright. Alright, there we go. We'll swim up here. Alright. We gotta go up here. There we go. Just a few more notes inside Clanker, as well as, um, oh, there's a feather there as well. Uh, I'm not gonna bother getting that feather there. But there is a Jinjo down here, so, then after that Jinjo, then everything's done inside Clanker. We may still need him to go on top of him, but still, we don't need to go inside him. Then when you get out of him, you start on the other. You go from the other side. So, right. Oh, this side exactly where I needed to be. Right. Because right here, there's more notes here. And then here, there is a mumbo token. Right there. Whee! Okay, right. And then this side is where we also need to be. So... And there's a ginger right here. 
Now the last Jinjo is in the water area, so so we're not gonna get him easily. And then right here is where a honeycomb piece is. And then another honeycomb piece is actually in the water. So I'll get that Jinjo along the way as well. Alright, so... And then we'll go to the boss of this area. So first... Honeycomb piece is right here. Can I get it? There we go. And we should have... Should have a, yeah, we got another extra honeycomb piece. <laughs> Our air was taking longer than usual there. It's another mumbo hey, token there. Go. Right, I think actually I'll get the Jinjo after the boss. Uh, I'll do the boss first, because then um, then I'll end up um, having to backtrack here again. So right, so I'll do it like this. Go around here. And then fail an attempt to climb it up, and then BAM! There we go. So then as I get the last jiggy, if I got all notes, then then instead of backtracking to the finish, I can just die instead. So. Right, so we gotta fight these mutant snippets. And you just and just ground pound them to kill them easily. Alright. Alright. There we go. There's our last jiggy right there. Then two more notes. Yeah, I know where those two I know where those two notes are. There we go. So then, right, I'll get those notes first, and then I'll get the, um, then I'll get that Jinjo. So then, on the way, I can also just get a few other optional collectibles here. So, yeah. So I, so I don't have to backtrack all the way to the start again. Because it, I think it's very annoying to do that. Alright, so we'll, um, go here. Then we've got a lot of collectibles: eggs, feathers, and notes, and an extra life right there. All right, right here. Then we find a Jinjo in this hole right here, and it's a blue one as well. So here we go. go. So then, uh, there's nothing else we can do here, so... Alright, so we go... I'm just gonna collect these, uh, feathers and that. But we don't... I don't need more feathers now, it's mainly eggs I need. And gold feathers. Well, I don't need a lot of gold feathers, but still, it's useful. Alright, there we go. There. I'll try and get those eggs before we die. Right, there we go. Got these eggs. Now let's try and get out. But we're not gonna do that because we'll drown. But we have all notes, so just jump, and we're out of the stage. Very simple to do, isn't it? Very easy to do, and the best way to get out. Now, before we end this video off, we'll get this. We'll get. I'll get this jiggy, and then, um, then I'll end the video off, and then in the next video we'll go for the problem swap. All right, there we go. Get it. All right, so. Alright guys, so that will be it for today's video, so next time in Banjo-Kazooie, we will tackle on Bubble Bloop Swamp, uh, which is beyond this halfway right here, so, 
I shall see you guys next time. Video game, Jane Poop out. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!